Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Josh and Spires. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Minecraft server in 1.16.3. And first things first, you'll want to get the actual 1.16 server. You'll have a link to this in the description. It's on the official Minecraft website. You click here, it'll download this server.jar. It'll ask you if you want to keep it. Just go ahead and hit keep. There you go, you now have your server.jar. So you can actually click and drag this onto your desktop. And then you want to right click anywhere, create a new folder and you can name it whatever, so I will name this 1.16.3 server. All right, then you want to drag the server.jar into the folder, and here it is, just right in here. All right, once you're in the folder with the server.jar, you want to right-click it, uh, go to Open With, and make sure that you're opening it with Java TM Platform SE Binary. Just open it with Java, basically. So mine is already set to open these types of files with Java, so I'm going to double-click and open it with Java. There we go. So you're going to get these files popping up and you're going to see this thing called EULA. It's a text document. So you just want to double click that and open it. And it'll open in Notepad. And uh, what you want to do is you want to change EULA equals false to EULA equals true. And then you want to close it and save it. And then you can double click your server again and it will actually pop up with the server. you actually get this command prompt opening, which is the Minecraft server console. And so as you can see, it's now preparing the spawn area. It's now making the world for Minecraft. And uh, so what you want to do is you just want to let it prepare the spawn area for the time being. There you go. And it once it says done, you can actually just uh, close it with the X button, or you can type the command stop into the server. It'll close the server and save everything. And as you can see, you have all these other folders now with the world file. And uh, uh, now you want to right click, you want to create a new text document inside this folder. And you want to go in, uh, double click in this text document to open it. You want to go back to the Minecraft server page, and you want to take this, this command right here, and you want to copy it, and you want to paste it into the text file. And this is how you allocate more RAM to your Minecraft server. So if you want it to run faster and run better, uh, this these numbers right here, uh, this 1024M is just the amount of megabytes that you'll be giving to your server, and about every 1000 uh, megabytes is about one gigabyte, so if you have a 16 gigabyte computer, you can give your Minecraft server anywhere below 16 gigabytes. I usually give it about four, so I will type 4000 megabytes into replace these numbers, and it'll be 4000M, 4000M, and when I'm done with that, I can actually go to File, hit Save As, then I want to change this Save As type down here. I want to click on this, click on All Files, and then I want to name it start.bat and then save. And now uh, I actually realized that there is actually, you want to go back into the start.bat. So what you want to do is you want to right click it, hit edit, and you want to change this Minecraft server 1.16.3 jar. You want to delete that and just change it to server.jar. So it should be Java dash xmx 4000m dash 4xms dash 4000m dash jar server dot jar no gui and it's just supposed to be the name of this server file so then you want to hit save and you want to close it and now this is where you can actually start up your server using this just click on this start dot batch file a command prompt will open like this and it will load your server in this command prompt with uh, as much RAM as you want it. So I'm loading it with uh, four gigabytes of RAM. And there we go, now the server is actually up and running. So uh, we can close this for the time being. Next up is Hamachi. So next up, you want to have Hamachi if you want your friends to join your Minecraft server. And to get Hamachi, you want to go to VPN.net, and this is where you will get Log Me and Hamachi. This will allow your friends to join your Minecraft server. And the first thing you want to do is up in the top right corner, you actually want to hit Sign Up. And you can just use any type of email, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter what you use. Uh, just create an email and a password, verify the email. It can be just one of your spam emails, doesn't matter. I actually already have an account. I can show you. Uh, yeah, this is my, I have 
uh, an account already. And uh, so it wants me to verify my account, but I've already verified it on the Hamachi app, so this doesn't matter. But just create an account and sign up, and then hit download now. And it'll download this Hamachi.msi. You just want to click on this. It'll load up Hamachi installer. Just select your language, hit next, say that you've agreed. Um, so yeah, it wants me... I already have it installed, so it's asking me to if I want to uninstall or reinstall. So I'm just going to go ahead and close this. I've already installed it, but go ahead and install that. And when you do, you'll actually have this as uh, your... It'll open up this, log me in Hamachi. And what you'll want to do is you'll want to turn on the power. And once you turn on the power, you can go up here to Network, hit Create a New Network, and you want to name your network whatever you want to name it. It doesn't matter as long as it's a name that's not already taken by someone else. So I'm going to name this Minecraft uh, Minecraft Server Tutorial 116.3. So that's my network ID. Then I want to make a password for it. Uh, there we go. And uh, just name your make your password whatever you want, and then hit create. And as you can see, I now have a network called Minecraft Server Tutorial 116.3. And so what, uh, and this is what you will give to your friends to join your Minecraft server. So basically, uh, first they need to download Logme and Hamachi as well. They want to hit join an existing network, and then they want to type the network ID exactly as you have it with caps and all. It is case sensitive. Um, so Minecraft Server tu Tutorial 116.3, then the password as whatever you put it. I'm already a part of the server because I created it, but this is how other people would join. Once they are inside your uh, Hamachi server, you can then start your Minecraft server with the start.bat. It will load up this command prompt. There you go, and it is now the server is now running. So we can minimize that for the time being, and we want to load up Minecraft. There we go. So then. Uh, we'll want to go to the latest release here on Minecraft, hit play, 1.16.3, let it load. There we go, you want to go to multiplayer, you want to hit direct connect, and you want to go back to Hamachi. You want to go right here to the right of the power button, hit uh, right click, hit copy IPv4 address, and this is the address you give to your friends to actually join your Minecraft server. If they're inside your Hamachi, then all you do is right click, hit copy IPv4, and then you give them that IP. So my IP is this specific IP, which is this one right here, loading off Hamachi. Hit join server, and there we go. I am now joining my own Minecraft server, and there it is. So this is my Minecraft server. I'll actually full screen it so you can see. But this is uh, this is Minecraft on my own server, as you can see. I am. I have the best connection with five bars. Well, now it's four bars, but uh, it's obvious because I'm the one hosting the server that I'd have really good connection. But yeah, and as you can see, everything works. And that's the Minecraft server for you. And if you want to give people operator status on um, in on your Minecraft server, what you got to do is you got to go back to your command prompt. And here is where you type your command. So you would want to type op and then your Minecraft name. So for me, it'd be op Josh Inspires. I am now a server operator, as you can see. I can now set the time. I can now set game mode. I can now do whatever I want. And I can op other people as well. And there you go. That is how you make your own Minecraft server on uh, 1.16.3. All right, so now that we've done all of that, let's say that you're having some problems. Like, let's say that your friends can't join your Minecraft server, or that you can't allocate more RAM to your Minecraft server, or something else is going wrong. So here's some troubleshooting for anyone who's having those problems. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the server. So to make sure that someone can join your Minecraft server, one, make sure that your server is running with either the start.bat or just the server.jar. Okay, and if those are running and your friend still can't join, make sure your friend has joined your Hamachi server. They have to download Hamachi and they have to join your Hamachi server first before they will be able to join your Minecraft server. Now let's just say that you're uh, let's just say that you're having a problem allocating more RAM to your Minecraft server. So what you want to do there is make sure that you've typed in. Oh, whoops, it is yeah. 
make sure that you've typed in the right command, which is this command, which I'll have in the description, and I'll also ha have a link to the Minecraft server website, which has this command, and make sure that this part right here, this server.jar, is the same name as this server.jar. See how it's just server? Um, so like, let's say this was called server2 or something, uh, like server2. If I try to run this start.bat, it will not open. It'll just it'll just close immediately. The command prompt will like do this. It'll just open and then it'll close instantly. And that's because this is trying to open server.jar, but this is called server2.jar. So if I actually go in here and change this to server2, and then I save it, and then I try and open it, it fixes it. It now opens the command prompt, it doesn't immediately close, and it'll load the server just completely fine, as you can see. So, there you go. Make sure that that is correct. Alright, so I'm actually going to change this back to server.jar, and I'm going to change this back to server.jar. Okay, now let's say that you, for some reason, your server is opening with Java, but it doesn't open when you use the start.bat. Okay, so that means that you actually need to download a new version of Java. So to get a new version of Java, you actually have to go to Java's website and just hit Java download. And this is basically just the thing that lets Minecraft run and it'll let you open .jar files and run them. And this will just give you the 64-bit version of Java, which will allow you to dedicate more than one gigabyte of RAM to your Minecraft server. Right now I have four gigabytes of RAM dedicated to my Minecraft server because I have the 64-bit, and I can de dedicate as much RAM as I want to my Minecraft servers. So if you can't allocate more RAM to your Minecraft server, make sure you go and uh, download Java and reinstall it. And if your server... Uh, if this start.bat file is not opening, or it opens for half a second and closes, make sure that the command is typed correctly, that you have 64-bit Java installed. Make sure that this part of the jar is the same as this file name. And if your friends cannot join, make sure that they have downloaded LogMe and Hamachi off VPN.net. Make sure they've made an account and that they've joined a network and that they've joined your specific network. They have to type the name in exactly how it is, so that means uh, if they typed in Minecraft with a lowercase m, it would not let them join my server because my server has a capital M. And once they are inside there, make sure that you right click, copy IPv4, and then paste that IP to them. They will be able to join Minecraft if they have Logme and Hamachi open, and um, they use that IP to join. Other than that, that should solve a lot of the issues. If you're having a problem, uh, you can always leave a comment, or if you want, you can join my Discord community in, a, in the link in the description, and you can try and chat with me there. I try to get back to anyone who needs help. But other than that, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, and maybe subscribe if you'd like. I have Minecraft videos coming out, and I'm always here to try and help with server, uh, server stuff with Minecraft. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, leaving a like, it really helps, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching.